The Bible. Even on the surface, it's rich with wisdom for life. But have you ever wanted to go deeper? Have you ever wondered how to get beneath the surface of Scripture to find even more profound insights? Dive deep into understanding with the Zondervan Reference Library. Zondervan Reference resources fall into three main categories – Overview, Find, and Understand. This video looks at Find resources. Find resources help you search or study a specific word or phrase. Two excellent volumes in this category are the NIV Bible Concordance and the Strongest NIV Exhaustive Concordance. The NIV Bible Concordance is small and quick to use. It features the most commonly searched words in the Bible. The Strongest NIV Exhaustive Concordance is for more serious study. It's the most powerful, comprehensive, and user-friendly Bible word finder available. It includes every word of the NIV text and also shows the Hebrew or Greek word origin for every English word in Scripture. You'll want to decide if you just need a quick reference or something more complete. Also, when choosing a concordance, keep in mind that each concordance is based on a specific Bible translation. Both of these concordances are based on the popular NIV translation. There are two main uses for a concordance. First, they help you find every place a specific word occurs in the Bible and shows you a small portion of each sentence in which it appears. This makes it easy to find that verse on the tip of your tongue. You might be looking for a certain verse about grace. Your concordance will quickly lead you to just the one you're thinking of. The second use for a concordance is a word study. Doing a biblical word study is a favorite way to go deeper in engaging the Bible. For example, in the second letter of the Apostle Peter, he uses the phrase, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Slow and slowness also appear in 2 Peter 3, verse 9. In the strongest NIV exhaustive concordance, both words are listed near each other. The concordance tells us that the word slow appears 19 times in the Bible, 13 times in the Old Testament, and 6 times in the New Testament. But the word slowness only appears once in the Bible, in 2 Peter 3, verse 9. If you look up each occurrence of the word slow and read the context, that is, the verses right before and right after the word slow appears, you notice something surprising. God's character is both slow and not slow. He is slow to anger. He is not, however, slow to express love. Rather, His love is abundant, lavish, and abounding. Peter goes on to say, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, but patient, wanting everyone to come to repentance. Tracing how words are used in Scripture through word studies can bring exciting insights and discoveries into your life. That's the beauty of find resources like these useful concordances. They're just two of the many dynamic tools in our reference library that reveal the hidden treasures in God's Word. The Zondervan Reference Library. Go deep.